Medical rounds our healthcare workers are on the front lines fighting the pandemic, but saving lives has now become a true community effort. Channel 3's Kara Sundland spoke with a doctor at Hartford Healthcare about how people like you are helping hospitals get what they need. We do hear donations are pouring in from many businesses and groups. Uh, what have you received so far? So far, we have received items from the public sector, from corporations, from individuals. We've received masks, we've received gloves, we've received um, gowns. Um, anything that people would like to donate, um, we are able to accept through our process. How do people donate? So the first thing to think about is, are you healthy? Are you experiencing any symptoms at all? If you are not experiencing symptoms, then make donations of unopened new items, such as boxes of gloves, boxes of masks, and bring those to Hartford Hospital. You can get information on our website. We're hearing Thank that you. families and groups are making homemade masks. Uh, we had a story of a grandmother doing this with her grandchildren. Yes. Are these homemade masks okay? Are they good enough? They are not good enough for taking care of patients who have active disease, as we know, but they do form a barrier, and some barriers better than no barrier. And so we do have directions as to how to make masks, and given that same direction, are you healthy, are you well, before you start to undertake something like that to make homemade masks. Okay. We are accepting those donations, though. That's great to hear. I know a lot of people are looking yeah. for things to do while they're home and in uh, self-quarantine right. right now. The federal government has promised thousands of masks are in the pipeline. Are you getting word that they're on the way? Are you seeing any evidence of that? Our team is working tirelessly with the government and with local officials to make sure that Hartford Healthcare gets all the uh, supplies that we possibly can. We are expecting a surge, as everyone is talking about, over the next several weeks. And so it's very important that all those channels are opened up and we're working around the clock to make sure that that is facilitated for our organization. All right, we will have to wait and see and hope that that does come to fruition. Thank you so much, Dr. Kylie, for being with us. You're welcome.